everybody. Hello, it's time for Super Seed. Oh, who wants to play? Coffee. Good morning, welcome to Super Seed exercise. She hasn't been out for her walk yet. Oh, I know, I know. So she's a bit bored. So I haven't looked again to her because I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. How's everybody doing? Are we all right? Feeling okay? I hope so. Um, we are going to get on with our class in a minute. What we're going to do today is we're going to use this book, which is the Get Up and Go book, and we're going to do the six exercises for strength and balance. The dog's pulling me. <laughs> Sorry, Mum, we're having a, I'm having a tug of war with Boo. Um, so the six exercises for strength and balance. I have done a video with just them. We're going to use them at the beginning of the class today. The reason why they're so good is they are developed, they were developed um, by the Association of Chartered Physiotherapists, the Chartered, Chartered Association, and they're designed to help, <laughs> help keep our strength. Hello, sir. Sandra, hello Betty, oh, 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 let's go, ah, okay. um, to help our strength, to stop us feeling wobbly, to improve our balance, and they're a really, really good set of simple exercises, so we'll go through them, and I, if I can find it, I'll link the video to this chat when we did just, just those exercises, so we're going to get ourselves going, first of all, we're going to start standing, glasses are mucky, which we don't usually do, do we? We usually start sitting. We're going to start standing today. So behind your chairs, first we'll give yourself a little shake out, make sure you're raring to go. Feet are quite wide, so I've got the quite wide feet. If you find it easy, try your feet closer. I'm going to go wide. And all we're going to do to begin with is a lift onto our toes, a hold, and a down again. Okay, so we're going to lift up, we're going to hold for three seconds and go down, and again, up we come. Now, we're gonna do this 10 times, which sounds like a lot, but the benefits you get from it is worth it. So I'm not quite sure how long this will take us, we'll see, but probably no more than 10 minutes maximum. There we go. And when I'm coming up, I'm trying to make sure that my feet are staying alive. Don't let your ankles turn out, keep them nice and straight. That's five done, here we go. Can you feel your calf muscles? Ooh. So if you decide you're going to do these regularly, which would be great, you don't have to start doing 10 exercises, you can do five. You don't have to always go full on. Some days you might think, you know, I'm not really in the mood, I'm not going to do so many. Down we go, good morning, is that Veronica? Good morning, Veronica. Down we go, so that's the first one done. Next one, hold on quite firmly because we're going to lift the front of our feet. So tummy's pulled in. Lift the front of your feet, hold, and down. We're holding for about three seconds. You can see this hand here, I'm counting. I'm counting how many repetitions we're doing. Down again. So I'm lifting, I am going to lean back a little bit, but try not to lean back too far. You don't want you ending up sitting on your sofa. <laughs> and again, lift up, and down again. Number five coming, so we're five through. But I can feel this, I can feel this, the, the muscles are getting tired. Which is good, it means they're working. Up we go again. No pain, no gain, wasn't that what they used to say? I don't think pain is the right word, but no effort, no gain. And again, down we go. Unfortunately, we can't magically build muscle. We have to strain it a little bit to make it work. And again, up we come, we're on number nine. Here's number 10. So we've already done two of the six exercises. Now we're going to sit down, but don't think you're, don't think you're going to relax, you're not. <laughs> so we're going to sit down and we're going to stand up again. Now there's a few things about this. First of all, sit yourself forward in your chair. I'm going to move my chair back a bit. Uh, feet again are quite wide. You're going to tuck your heels up a little bit, lean forward, up you come. Yep. Down you go, slow. Now stop, then go again. So I want you to make sure you don't get tempted to cheat. So a cheat would be kind of doing that. I'll become number three. Guess how many we have to do? Ten. <laughs> number four. And if you want to make this harder, try crossing your hands across your chest. That's it. I'm always making sure as I sit down, I'm feeling the back of the chair on my knee. So I know it's where it should be. Because your, your worst nightmare really is that it's sitting down in the chair actually not being there. How amusing that was at school when people used to pull the stool away from your backside. 
I think we've got about three to go. I'll be honest, I've slightly lost, lost count. We've got three more. There we go. Don't rush it. Two more. Excellent. One more. Up we go. Fantastic. Okay, so again behind your chairs. I'm going to move mine a little bit. We are going to do a heel toe balance or stand. So I want you to hold onto your chair nice and carefully. One foot in front of the other. You see I've got my knees slightly bent, stand nice and tall. Now we're going to pull our tummy muscles in and see if we can hold this balance for 10 seconds. Let's see if we can take our hands away. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good? Yeah. Feet back wide again. Then the other one goes in front. So here in front of the toe. If that line is too tricky for you, do it like that. So you don't have to necessarily have that line if you don't want to. Okay, hold it there. Come and put in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And if you only got to five, fine. Get a bit of paper, write five on it. Next time you do it, see if you can do six and build it up. Next thing is a kind of a progression of that move. I'm just going to use my chair, but if you're in your kitchen, for example, get yourself along the cabinet because we're going to go a heel to toe walk for 10 steps. So I'm going to have to let go of my chair at one point. So can you see my face? So that's how I let go of my chair. So foot in front. One, two, three. So it's a good idea if you've got the cabinet there. Four, five, six. Can write a space. Seven. I'm going off camera. Eight. Nine, ten. Turn around. Back we go. One, two. Look straight ahead. Three. Hold on if you need to. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, that's really hard. I have to my coffee. It's really hard. So please don't say, well, look, Ted, we can do it really easily. You know, I'm in my 50s and I do exercise for a living. I should be able to do it really easily. As we get older, it gets harder. You know, if, if kids could do it all day. I'm sure mum and dad are in the kitchen doing it now, which is a good place to do it because you've got all those surfaces. Okay, so next one, last one, is one-legged stand. So, it, it does work, it's definitely a tin, doesn't it? Stand on one leg, put up behind, tummy in, try to let your bottom stick out behind. And we're going to see if we can let go. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other leg. Here we go. 10, 9, ooh, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brilliant. So that's the six exercises. And what I'll do is I'll take a picture of the book and I'll put it on the chat. So it'll come up. You can print it off or just use it or save it. Um, and I'll make sure, I'll see if I can find the video I'm to there, that um, does the same thing. So, but you know, it's it's a very simple little workout, um, but really, really good. Right, everybody, we are going to sit ourselves down and we're going to get a bit hot now. So I'm going to turn the volume up. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so I'm going to turn my volume up a bit as well because my mum was telling me I'm a bit quiet sometimes, which she's never told me before, mum, have you? I've never been accused of being too quiet. Okay, right. So give me a march. March those arms. March. You, you wait if you want to. I know Sandra will have her about. Okay, a little wide march. They go wide. Yeah, then bring it in again and tall. Tummies are pulling in. Go wide again. And then bring it in again. Okay. We're going to tap one leg slowly out. So tapping front and back. So my foot's going out in front of me. So it's out, back. Trying to keep my shoulders still. Okay. So keep those legs going. Arms are going to go up, down, up. So you can either, I'd like it if your leg reached forwards. 
But that's too much, just the side, fine. Good. Are you ready to march again? Let's march, here we go, big march. Get those arms swinging. Then march it wide, go wide. We'll get ourselves going this morning. Bring those legs back in. One leg out. Hands. Now, some of you will be thinking, ah, oh, I want to work harder. So you can go right up there. You can reach right up. Yes. Okay. Take your hand. Touch your opposite knee. And back. Down. Back. So little lean forward. The wider your legs are, the easier this is. Other arm, let me go. So it's down. I want you to lean across so you're looking down to where your hand's going. Don't worry if you need to do it slower, it's fine. Slow is not a problem. Back to march again. Let's go with the march. And then go wide. Good. Bring it in again. And then go wide again. Okay, so stop there. Do you remember the one leg? Leg? Yes. Sometimes it's easier if you shuffle slightly further forward on your seat for that one. Option, to keep the hands low. Okay. So one hand opposite side. So it's down, up. Other side. a bit different. We're going to march and then you're going to pump your hands down, down, down. March again. And then go. Up, up, up. March. And down, 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 down. March. Up we go. Let's do it again. So when you're marching, you can keep marching now if you want to, when you go down, down. But if it confuses you, don't march when you're moving the arms. So you can just keep that, yeah? Very beginning, normal march. Go wide. Yeah, and I'm moving my body a bit more. Getting in the groove. And go wide. Are you ready for one leg going out and both arms? So it's this one. Yes. Reach up. Anyone who's really in the mood? <laughs> That's called a jumping jack. Hand to shoulder. Down. Up. Are you getting warm yet, everybody? Change over to the other arm. Here we go. Four. Three. Okay, we're going to march, march. Ready to push down. And march again. And push up. Good, have a little breather. How do we do? Pretty good, I'm going to have a slurp of my coffee. We're not done yet though, so don't run off. This is just a breather. you might be aware, I've heard that soon some of my classes as much can come back to the community centre. I don't know which ones and I don't know quite how, so I'm going to try and find out more in the next fortnight. So fingers crossed, some classes will come back before the end of July, but I honestly don't know whether seated will be among them. I'm hoping it will be. But I will be in contact with you about it all the time. So don't get worried. We're not going to suddenly stop these dead. I'm going to work out how we're going to work it all. Because some people will not be going out. Some people will live nowhere near me and couldn't come to class anyway. So don't panic. Leave it with me and I will update you as soon as I can. Right, okay. We're going to do a bit of stretching, guys, now. Feet lovely and wide. Open your arms out and then bring them in. Open them out. Bring them in. Hello, Carol. Sorry I've been late. We'll catch up one minute. Oh, it's, it's still nice to have you here, Carol. <laughs> you come for the best fit. You're better here for stretching. <laughs> and again, 
go. Open up, hold it there. Now, if you can, take your hands behind and touch your chair. I'm going to turn my chair around so you can see. So I'm touching the back of the chair. Opening up my chest, coming forward in. Arms come forward, lace your fingers, push them away. Bit of an arm stretch there. Let's go again. So hands behind, hold your chair. Squeeze your shoulders back. Then bring your arms forward, lace your hands through, push them away. Now if you can, gently bring your arms up and then down. So this is quite tough, quite tough on those shoulders. If it's too much of your palms pushing away, turn your hands back round the other way. Good, let's take the hands behind. Here we go, hands behind. Now I'm just bouncing my heels because I like the music. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just kind of like to do it. Hands forward, lace them through, push them away, hold. And then we'll bring the arms up and down. And up. So what we're doing here is getting into our shoulders. Lots of us have sticky shoulders. So don't be worried if you don't get your hands very high. Give your arms a little shake out. How are we feeling? Let's loosen those shoulders up. Give a little circle. Little circle. And I would recommend, if you can, and I know I've put this down as a challenge for July, but try and do something every day. Do one of my classes. If you've got another class you do, Try and do it every day. Put it in your diary. Make it a fixed point. You'll feel better for it, honestly. Okay, we're going to go the other way. We're going to go back and round. It's weird, that one. Round. My husband's doing big stretches every morning since he's been in lockdown. And his back and everything has been so much better. Look. Okay, give yourself a little shake out. Give me those fingers. We're going to work our hands. So I want you to go out, back, so it's like jazz hands. And a little bit forward, and back. Good. Okay, listen. Can you do one hand at a time? One hand. Other hand. Spread those fingers, everybody. Especially if you've got arthritis in your, in your hands, you need to keep them moving. Good, and again. Raise them both hands. Here we go. Both hands, back. And again, lean forward. Now we're going to do one hand at a time. Stretch it more. Stretch it more. Raise the two hands. We're going to go up. Up, down. Up, down. And singles. Up, down. Oh, you're going to want to rest in a minute. We're nearly there, everybody. Bring the hands forward. So both hands forward. Single hand forward. Both hands up. Single hands up. One more time through, then we're nearly there. Forward. Single forward. Both arms up. This is tricky. If your brain's struggling, don't worry. Do what you can. Single. Last single. Good. Well done. Those sorts of moves are really challenging, especially if you've got a little bit of trouble with your cognition. You will find it a struggle. It doesn't mean you shouldn't try. You need to try. Keep it all working. Okay, roll over. Shoulders back and relax. Take a big breath in, reach up. And exhale. And again, big breath in, reach up. And exhale. Fantastic. We are finished, Carol. I'm sure you're going to go back and do that all again. <laughs> Thank you for joining me everybody and like I say please don't worry about what's going to happen in the next month or so with the classes. I'll keep you in the loop and we'll work something out. Thanks for coming today everybody. Lovely to see you all. Lovely to see you. Well, I know I can't see you but I almost can see you can't I? And um, I'll see you again on Thursday morning. Have a good day everybody. Bye.